All right, well, who knew that the summer blockbusters have hidden strategies and concepts for getting organized? Here with more is our organizing expert, Brenda Principali. And you girl, you know how to make organizing, getting your stuff together fun. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you know, sometimes we get these hints that are out there and we just need to open our eyes to it and then it'll help you get organized. That's right. So starting with the, you know, hugest hit of the whole year right. is of course Jurassic World. Right. And one of the things that happened in the movie is that there was a clone that went out of control. Yes. And sometimes that happens in your space. Things clone and all of a sudden you end up with three garlic presses and 12 pairs of black. And how did they get cloned? And they kind of start to cause problems for you. So what you need to do is go in and see, you know, how do you remove all those different clones and just get the one that really truly is the best. You don't need like 18 same of the same t-shirt. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And again, you know, when you have a cluttered house, you kind of have a cluttered mind sometimes. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Inside out's about our emotions. Right. And you know, that is one of the things that happens when you take on an organizing project or even before when you're walking around your house sometimes. What you get is a lot of sometimes possibly self-disgust. You get sadness. You get fear. How am I going to take this on? But the best thing is that when you actually do that organizing project, then you do end up with joy. And that's Aww, a wonderful thing. I love it. And Joy is voiced by Amy Poehler, so it's so cute. Yes, and yes. then Spy. You saw this movie, really liked I it. I did. I did. And it was one of the things that I thought about, you know, that she actually transformed into something that she could be that was even greater than what she had thought and so that is what you can do as well I always tell people you've got these little organizing genes you know maybe just kind of laying and rest in your brain let's bring them to life and let's actually let them let them live a full life and apply to your life yeah, as she well. was a dormant spy they put her into action and she performed and sometimes we think oh we're just not good at that yeah. we'll just sometimes try right right exactly exactly and then you know the last part of Tomorrowland that you know here was this vision of what they thought Tomorrowland was going to be. So have your own vision for what you foresee as your future and what you want in your Tomorrowland. And, you know, it's something that you can bring to reality just as they did in the movie. And sometimes just even getting like Home Beautiful or Better Homes and Gardens, some of those magazines inspire you to say, you know what, this Sunday let's tackle, you know, this, and you can take on one room at a time or one closet right. or drawer right. at a time, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, the thing that happens is if you try and do too much, then you get discouraged. Mm -hmm. So set out a really nice paced plan and that's a wonderful idea. Whether it's each month, kind of focus on just one room or one space. Get it done and then you have a little breathing room before you take on the next one. You or you just have like your mom come visit like Rosie did over <laughs> for her birthday and my house is like tip top shape. There She's like, go. let's get organized. I'm like, I am. I actually, I thought this was really good. But you know, there's a mom level of organization and then there's yours. Right, so. right. And then there's Brenda's which is, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Brenda. Great Thank way to you. use the movies to get us motivated. Monica, over to you.